NASA's twin Voyager spacecraft have been traveling the interstellar road for more than 40 years, sweeping past the giant planets of the outer solar system before heading to the very fringes of our sun's domain. Now, one probe has achieved a milestone in exploration. On December 10th, NASA announced that Voyager 2 has entered interstellar space, six years after Voyager 1 first crossed the threshold. The twins are the only two spacecraft ever to venture so far from home. To confirm Voyager 2's exit, scientists analyzed data from the spacecraft's plasma science experiment, which measured the heliopause, the boundary between the sun's protective plasma bubble and interstellar space. On November 5th, the instrument recorded a steep decline in particles from the sun's plasma. At the same time, Voyager 2 saw more high-energy particles from elsewhere in the galaxy, confirming that the probe had left our cosmic cul-de-sac. Working on Voyager makes me feel like an explorer, because everything we're seeing is new, MIT researcher John Richardson, the principal investigator for the plasma experiment, said in a statement. Even though Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in 2012, it did so at a different place and a different time, and without the PLS data. So we're still seeing things that no one has seen before. The two Voyager spacecraft have explored the giant planets of our solar system, and are now heading for the stars. NASA's scientific visualization studio with Tom Bridgman. But even at more than 11 billion miles from the Sun, the Voyager's story is just beginning. On their current paths, both probes will still be heading outward across the galaxy eons after they escape the gravitational tug of the Sun, and perhaps long after our star dies in 4 or 5 billion years. Should the spacecraft ever be intercepted by an alien civilization, two golden records bearing the sights and sounds of planet Earth could play the last whispers of a long-dead planet. Assuming they stay on course, it's going to be a lonely trip for the voyagers, because even though our earthly skies appear to glitter with countless pinpricks of light, space is mostly empty. Distances between the stars are so vast that even when our galaxy smashes into the one next door, not much will happen in the way of stellar collisions. Still, according to astronomers' predictions, their cosmic treks will bring the voyagers close to several starry milestones and a dust cloud or three over the next hundred thousand or so years. Here are some of the known cosmic landmarks the voyagers could meet in their relatively near futures. Voyager 2 Launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, on August 20, 1977, the Dairy Cow Size Voyager 2 began its odyssey with a grand tour of the outer solar system, making vital discoveries at Jupiter and Saturn and returning some of the best views yet of Uranus and Neptune. The probe is now dipping below the plane of the solar system at roughly 34,500 miles an hour and heading celestially south, toward the constellation Sagittarius. On November 5, 2018, it crossed the heliopause, exiting the sun's protective plasma bubble. Voyager the second of may be freshly interstellar, but it won't be anywhere near another star until 40,000 years from now when it will pass within 1.7 light-years of the small red dwarf star Ross 248. At that point, Ross 248 will be the closest star to our Sun, briefly eclipsing the Alpha Centauri system's claim to fame as its path through the galaxy brings it just 3.02 light-years away. About 61,000 years from now, Voyager 2 will pass beyond the Oort cloud, a large, diffuse swarm of icy objects that is thought to extend as far as 200,000 times farther from the Sun than Earth, says Wesleyan University's Seth Redfield.